All right, well, there's no question about it. NRG Stadium was full of maize and blue last night. Uh, we could hear them singing along to Mr. Brightside. Yeah. They're at a pretty <laughs> crucial moment in the game. So now they're <laughs> headed back home following that big win in Houston. Pamela Osborne is at Metro Airport catching up with the fans, making their way back after, I, I, I imagine a bunch of them haven't even been to bed, Pam. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it's incredible. Everybody here is so excited. I mean, we have gray skies. It's been raining here all day long, but the fans that we've seen coming back home, uh, walking through these doors here at Detroit Metro Airport, they are absolutely thrilled, still buzzing from last night's win. I can't even explain it. It was just amazing. Michigan alum Noreen Mullen and her family are back in town after witnessing the perfect ending to the perfect season. It wasn't her first championship game. I was there in 97 when they won, and being there with my family this time made it that much more special. The four of them were there as Michigan became the first Big Ten team ever to go 15 and 0. I had never had one of my teams go to the national championship, so it's just really exciting for me. Keen Williams is a current Michigan student from out of state. Just the energy in that stadium was freaking amazing. He saw the celebrations that erupted on campus in Ann Arbor last night, and yeah, if you could ever be two places at once, he says he would have. The memories will last a lifetime, and for these fans, it's about family as much as it is about football. And something that my brother and I will get to reflect on when we have our kids and we, we bring them to the games is really exciting. Exciting indeed. Hey, I do have to tell you, there was one charter plane that was significantly delayed coming in. The Michigan football team, they're going to be arriving sometime around about after 730 tonight. And when they do, you better believe they're going to be driving those buses through campus. They're inviting everyone to come down and attend and get a look. Uh, Jacqueline Francis is headed there for us this evening. We're going to be streaming all of that live on Local 4 Plus. So if you don't have the app already, make sure you take a look at that. You'll get the alert as soon as that stuff gets underway. And also the plans for the big parade, because that's what fans want to know and want to do next. Those details will be announced tomorrow around 10 a.m. For now, reporting live at Detroit Metro, I'm Pamela Osborne, Local 4. So great. All right, Pam. By the way, before that, uh, what we, we just mentioned what's coming up later. H how about this? A behind-the-scenes look at the celebration on the field. There was plenty of that. You can watch all of uh, Bernie and Hobie Artique's post-game interviews uh, streaming tonight at 7 p.m., and then you can watch it anytime on demand under the New Releases tab on Local 4+. Plus.